Sometimes we're up, sometimes we're down Sometimes our heads are just spinning all around But if you want to walk straight as an arrow Then walk God straight and narrow Sometimes we're up, oh, yeah. sometimes we're down oh, yeah. Sometimes our heads are just spinning all around uh -huh. But if you want to walk straight as an arrow Then walk God straight and narrow Do it God's way everyone and welcome aboard on our first of six ships in these six weeks of the discipleship campaign. I am Anamika and it is a pleasure to be your moderator today. On this broadcast we will have our children's ministry pastor Reverend Claridge who will be speaking to us today on the topic evangelism. He is no stranger to us on this broadcast so we are grateful for his service. We will now hold the prayer by DeAndre McKenzie which will be followed by the scripture lesson that will be read by Charlie Fisher. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word that changes our lives and help your people. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. Matthew 28, verse 18 through 20 says, Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always, to the very end of the age. The Word of the Lord. Thank you, DeAndre and Charlie. We will now watch a brief Bible story on evangelism. Kaylee and we're in my garden. Now it's time to welcome our friends Delbert and Lello. Yeehaw Delbert and hello Lello. Yeehaw! Let me hear your hee-haw! Yeehaw! Hi Delbert. Hi Lello. Yeah! Hello everybody! Guess what we did with little Joey today? Oh, I uh, took him on a picnic? Nope. Guess again. Uh, boys and girls, do you have any ideas? Oh, those are great guesses. We took him to our favorite spot in the garden. Yeah. We went to the big rock by the stream. And what did you do there? We told little Joey all about Jesus. That's great. I'm so proud of you two. You are? Well, yes. Jesus wants us to tell others about him. He does? Yes. Jesus told his disciples to go to people all over the world and teach them about him. Oh, that sounds like a big job. It is, but we can all help. How can we help? 
Well, today you helped by teaching little Joey about Jesus. You can tell your friends about Jesus too. Yeah, that's right. We can do that. Oh, we sure can. And boys and girls, you can too. Let's all try to tell three people about Jesus this week. Do you think you can do that? Great. Let's tell the world about Jesus. Yeah, Delbert. Let's go. Bye-bye, everybody. Great idea, Lello. See you guys later. Bye, kids. Our mission for this ministry is to share the good news of Jesus. There are many others who have joined in to share the gospel as well. Let's hear from them. Hello, Charlie. Hello! How are you feeling? I feel good. That's very good, Charlie. We have an interesting topic today. I was walking around the other day, and some people were saying only adults are supposed to spread the gospel and talk about Jesus. You believe that? No, sir! No, sir! Uh, why, why, why you don't believe that? Because Jesus said, make disciples of all nations. That's right. And what nations consist of? All the people. That's right. All the people, including the what? The adults and the children. That's right. The children. And all the adults, all the people, they make up the nations. You know, that's why they have different nations with different names. Okay? But at the same time, do you think children should spread the gospel? Yes, sir. Jesus said he loved children. So he wants the children to tell other people about him and other children about him. Why? Because he loves the children. That's right, that's right. What else he did? He died for the children. Okay, yes, he did die for the children. But you know, Jesus is so powerful. Uh, he said that all authority and power has been given to him. And he wants the world to know that. Sometimes we think other things is more powerful uh, in war and different things. but. There's no other power greater than the power and the authority of Jesus. Do you know that? Yes, sir. That's right. That's why it's so good to know him. If you know Jesus, you know the king who got all the power. That's right. That's right. That's right. And the power never cut off. No, it never cut off. I beat it. No, no, don't, don't be certain. Anyhow, anyhow, it's very encouraging. To let children know to tell other children about the Great Commission and the, about the and to tell other children about the Lord. Okay? Yes, sir. That's right. Tell them who love him the most again. Jesus loves you. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you, Brother Charlie and Derek. Now let's hear what Pastor Claridge has to say. Today, the Children's Ministry of the New Mount Zion Missionary Baptist Church welcomes you to our virtual small group session one. The overall theme for this session and these group of sessions for that will last for six weeks is the discipleship family of cruise ships. Today, I am pleased to kick off this six-week small group session with you, the children of the New Mount Zion Missionary Baptist Church. I am Pastor Parrish, Pastor of Children's Ministry, and it is my pleasure to be here with you today. As we begin, I want us to look at our scripture. What does the Bible have to say to us today? And especially as today, as we look at the evangelism ship, what does the Bible say to us about evangelism? About telling others of the good news of Jesus Christ. 
even I'm looking at Matthew chapter 28. I know it may have been read already, but I want to read it again. We're just reading three verses, verses 18 and verses 19 and verses 20. And I'm reading from the New International Version of the Bible. Here's what it reads. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to you. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely, I am with you always to the very end of the age. Father, right now, we just thank you for these few minutes that we have to share with children and the fact that they can know and they can learn also how to share their faith with their friends. We bless you today in Jesus' name. Amen. Today, as you would have said earlier, the theme is the evangelism shift. You know, in when you look at a family of cruise ships, each ship would have a name. You know, you may hear of the Norwegian cruise lines or the Disney cruise lines or the Disney cruise ships, and each ship would have a name. And today, as we look at it, as we begin this six weeks, the ship today we are traveling on is the evangelism ship. And all evangelism is, is you and me telling others about Jesus. When we look at the scripture that was read, we see Jesus meeting with his disciples on the top of a mountain. Jesus is about to go back to his father. At this time, Jesus has lived his life on earth. Jesus has died. Jesus was buried. Jesus rose again. And now, 40 days later, he is going back to his father. And when he went back to the father, he gave the disciples and to us, he gave us some very important instructions. But not just instructions, Jesus told us that we can depend on him when we are sharing our faith. And today we just want to look at three things that Jesus would have shared. And I want to just talk a little bit about each one of those. The first thing we see is Jesus said, all power, or as the NIV would say, all authority in heaven and in earth has been given to him. And you see, when we go out to tell others about Jesus, we don't have to worry about going and telling others about Jesus because we just want to do it or we're doing it on our own power. Jesus says, no, you're doing it on my authority. It's just like when you go to school, boys and girls, and the teacher gives you instructions, the teacher tells you what to do. You can do it on the authority of the teacher. And that's the same thing here. Jesus is saying all authority is given to him. And notice what he says. The authority is given to him in heaven and on earth. And then he says, based on the fact that I have given you the authority, God has given me authority and I've given you authority. He says, go and make disciples. That's what evangelism is. You are telling others about the goodness of Jesus. But as a child, sometimes you may want to know, how can you tell others? You can simply tell them by inviting them to church and so that they can come to Sunday school when we're back or even to our virtual Sunday school so they can hear about God. They can hear about his goodness. You can share with your friends, those in your neighborhoods, those in your schools, those who you may be Skyping or Zooming with. You can share with them how God 
helps you. You will tell them that God has helped you to study for exams. You will talk to them about that. That's a simple way that you can share your faith with them. You can make your life a living testimony. That means you live your life based on what the Bible has to say, not what you think. And you can share with them when they ask you, well, why do you do what your mommy and daddy says all the time? You can tell them because the Bible in Ephesians says, children, honor or obey your parents. The fourth way that you can go and make disciples, the way you can share your faith, is you can serve the needs of others. And as you serving their needs, you can share God's love for them. So we see that when we go and make disciples, it's not as difficult as we seem so hard that you have to go and know everything about the Bible because you don't. Notice what he said. When we just told you you can just invite someone to a Zoom meeting. And you know, on Sundays when we have the meetings go out, you can just share it with them and they can go on Facebook or YouTube. They can come and join us. When we are back to face-to-face -face church and we have children's ministry, we can invite them to come to church. You can also share with them, we said, and you can talk to your friends and show them how God has helped you. You can talk about your life and make your life a testimony. You can tell them that because you are Christian, this is why you do what you do. And the fourth thing we said you can do when you go and make disciples, you can serve the needs of others. And while you're serving their needs, while you're helping them, it may be a friend who may need to understand how to do a math problem. It may be a friend who has some other difficulty in school. It may be a friend who may need something to eat and you're going to give them food. And so you share with them as you take care of their needs. The third thing Jesus says, he told them that he, all authority comes from him. He has the power. He says then go make disciples and the third thing he says he will always be with you and you see you got to remember that boys and girls that no matter what it is jesus told us he says when he was going he says he's going to lead a comforter the fact that he says his holy spirit will be with us and so today boys and girls remember God says, I am with you. When you put your faith and your trust in Jesus, when you come to that place in your life where you make the decision to make Jesus the Lord of your life, all you have to do is always remember Jesus says, he will never leave us. He will never forsake us. He will always be with us. So today we bless you, we praise you, we thank you for being here, and we thank God that you are here with us. Father, right now, we just say, bless these children. Take care of them. Cover them, even as they are in school. Lord. Throughout the course of this week, and a lot of them are schooled virtually, we ask that you give them strength and, and guidance to be able to go through the virtual learning process. We bless you today. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Pastor Clyde, for a wonderful message. May we continue to do our part in evangelizing the world. I hope you learned a lot from our broadcast today. Join us for a new release next Sunday as we board our second ship, The Discipleship with Minister Delwyn Maycock. See you next time. We will continue to stir up deep wells and stir up deep waters. We love you and remember, obedience is better than sacrifice. Goodbye.